Okay, hello, hi guys. Um, uh, this is for Mike. Uh, um, I will start by saying uh, sorry for taking so long to respond. Uh, the, my my work is killing me so much. So now I uh, want us to 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 discuss how to 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 get the the nature of the of of the of the members. So uh, we know that uh, we have uh, a strut, a strut, uh, and 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 a tie. So uh, if if you have two, uh, if the 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 the, the forces or the direction uh, is uh, away or is into uh, is inside a member, we call it a strut. And then if it's uh, outside uh, a point, we call it a um, a, a tie. So uh, to 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 determine if this is a tie or a strut, we have to uh, draw first the 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 the, the vector diagram. So uh, this side, this is our vector diagram. This is V dim, and then uh, also we have to check on our space diagram. This is our space diagram. This say is S D, our space diagram. So uh, now this is the vector diagram uh, for uh, this uh, space uh, diagram, right? So so now uh, if you want to get the nature of the force, we have to start at a certain point. You can start at any point. Uh, from uh, this uh, this framework, I have labeled A, uh, B, C, uh, D, E, and F here. So uh, this A is straight in the point or where the, the, this frame um, this frame are joined, and then also B is straight in uh, this point. So um, we we know that if you want to, to to draw your your vector diagram, you have to label uh, this uh, this space here. So this is uh, O. And then we have K here, K, uh, L, M, N. So if you have to draw your your vector diagram, this is your vector diagram. So we can have uh, K, uh, O, L, M, N. So these are your forces or there are uh, is there are parts and uh, the, 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 the downwards forces so now uh, let's get into uh, the business of the day so now let's start at point a so if you are at at point a you have to uh, rotate clockwise né? so you can just draw a straight line like this let me say this is a uh, point a so at point a we have this force of uh, which is our support the support of uh, 76.92. Uh, so uh, this 76.92 is where it's at O and K. Né? So you go to your vector diagram looking at O and K, which is this force. So on, 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 on a vector diagram, uh, I don't know if it's, uh, yeah, now we can get it uh, both sides. So uh, this is a uh, K and um sorry okay we can say this is uh, o and uh, k né? so uh if you are here at the, the, the your your vector diagram from o to k it indicates the direction of the force this is the uh the the force which is uh, is going up if you can say this is the force going up which is uh these uh 70 uh 76.96 is there direction of this force from O to uh, K. So now if we are at K, oh, okay, no, sorry, I have to label inside here. Uh, they say uh, my diagram is not, it's not, it's not, it's not complete. Let, let, let me put, we have a force here. Okay, and then uh, this is one, this is two, three, and then we have four, yeah, okay. Yeah, now, now, now our diagram is complete. So we have a one, a two, three, and four. So, okay, let's continue. Now, uh, if you say the, uh, from O to K, we say the from O to K is the direction of the force. This is the force going upwards, which is this 76.92. Uh, and then uh, from, from K now, if you are at K, uh, two, uh, one. We are rotating clockwise, so we are still in at uh, this point. Né? from K to one. And then we're looking at the our vector diagram from K to one. So the direction is going inside we, which is at uh, this direction from K to one. This is the 
direction no? so if uh, this is the direction from k to one that means here on your vector diagram you have a, a force that is going inside the point here so this is your uh that is this is your um point that is going inside this uh, uh point of a and then uh if you are here at uh now we are at one from one to o then we continue we started from k to one we should have this force then from one to o we have this is one and then the direction to o is going in this direction so that means from o we're going this direction so that means it's out uh it's going out of the uh or it's going away from our point the direction from uh from one to o so it's going out of our point so now if you have uh these two for our point now we can um uh, we can uh, place another direction uh, that is opposing this point now, this is the direction going inside a that means you would also have another direction uh, on or force going inside uh, B, which is opposing this uh, point. Now, if this is going inside uh, A, that means the other one goes inside uh, B. If this uh, one is going outside uh, or away from A, that means from F you have a force uh, that will be going straight to 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 uh, this direction to to a which is opposing this uh, original point that we have right and then um okay le, 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 let's do uh, le, le, let's go to b now maybe you will get it uh right if we at b so if we at b now we still on this point we are rotating where we are rotating clockwise so if we are at b you have uh, k and l which is this force of uh, 100 newton so this 100 newton is going to uh it's going downwards you go to your vector diagram so this is your vector diagram uh we have what is k is k and l this is k and l to this point so if we are here at k to l is showing the uh, direction of it of the force this is k and l is showing the direction of the force which is going down and then from l now from l we rotate clockwise around b so which is from l you're going to three from l to three and then we're looking at this the, the 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 point here which is this is our l then to three is in this direction we're going to the west direction that means you're going inside our point here so if we say uh, from l to three is in aside our point and then going in this direction so this is your direction and then uh and then from three to uh to two and then from three to two still we are rotating uh, around this point b then we start from l to uh three three to two now we're looking at this is our three then from three to two is going into uh, this direction so we're going upward so that means it's go still going inside uh, this uh, force here so it's going inside uh, inside B, uh, B. so uh, this is three two two and then uh, from three this is our th uh, sorry from two to one from two to one uh, we don't have a force there so that means that this is zero here yeah. there is no uh, there is no strut or it is no tie in this member because there is member at a zero so we have one here and we also have two in this point that means we have it uh, this one doesn't have um it's zero in this case the member here is zero and then from uh one to k and then from one to k and uh, we will look at this is one to k and then this from one to k is going away uh, or is going into the point which is already put it at the direction here which is uh into uh b this is uh this proof that if this one goes in the in this direction the other one go opposite side so that means this is the from uh one to uh k then it's one to k in in the point b yeah 
so then now you have uh, your point then four that if this is going inside a that means you have another force opposing this side them and then if this is going inside that means you're going to have another force opposing that uh that, that direction like this and then this is uh the direction so that means that this this, this as what well, this is our strut so here is a strut uh, and here also is a strut and then here also is our strut uh here is that is our tie um then uh let's go to 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 the last uh let's look at uh from c now at 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 point c uh i hope by now you get you are getting what we are doing here so at point c uh point c separate uh, we we have this force which is l and m the l and m go to our vector diagram looking this is l and m so l and m it shows the direction of the force which is this direction of the force from l to m which is going downwards and then from l to 4 we are rotating well clockwise so from l to 4 the 4 is going to be l this is 4 this l going to 4 that means it's going to inside c and then from um from 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 four to three this is four to three is going down that means that this is going away from uh c and then uh from uh, from three back to l from three back to uh l this is three to l here that means from three to l is this direction into this point and then for you opposite uh, you oppose the direction then this one will be going this direction also and then this one will be going up so therefore this one becomes your uh, tie this one becomes your strut so i i hope you you and you 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 find it uh this information uh usefully so uh, i i will um I will uh, attach or or I will put uh, my my email address and in, uh, in the description uh, below so that you can contact me straight to my email address and send me any question that you are having uh, with uh, in our um, in uh, in any 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 subject under mechanical engineering is it may be power machine it may be a uh, strength of material can be uh, making uh, mechano technology mechano techniques uh, fluid mechanics uh, all those kind of uh, subject thank you